All right, so now we're going to put in a, a little bit of a, a toe rotation control. The one thing that this um, simple uh, reverse foot rig doesn't have is is a bit of a um, an ability to control the toe by itself. And what I mean by this is I'm just going to grab that IK effector right at the end of the toe here and just sort of like push that up and down. And at the moment, the animator has absolutely no ability to do this which is really quite important if he is to lift up his leg and then we want to like curl his toe back a little bit, you know, or a really cartoony run cycle type thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a locator. Now I'm using a locator just because it's a null and it's a nice easy visual thing to have a look at. Build a locator and we're going to parent it into this hierarchy um, so, that it, so that the toe still pivots the way that it should from this point here still this toe pivot happening. So the locator will be parented to that toe pivot and then back here and then we're actually going to get the IK effector and parent it to the locator. So this effector, IK uh, effector will still be parented to the toe but via the locator um, back again. So it'll be a bit more obvious when we when we set it up. So let's just get started with this. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is build the locator. So that's just very easy. Create locator. I'm going to size it up a little bit over here in our local scale options. You can see we've just hit two, and it just makes it a little bit bigger. <coughs> it's not actually affecting the scale of the locator. Now I could just snap this over here and parent it up, and it will probably be okay. But let's do this properly. So um, you'll notice that this this whole foot is on a little bit. It's not quite angled in world coordinates perfectly straightforward so um, if we are to snap this over here you can sort of see that that IK uh, sorry that locator is not actually let's even make that bigger to something like five is not actually pointing exactly towards this this toe joint so <coughs> undoing that what we're going to do is we're going to group this now I always use groups uh, so I've just hit control G but uh, you can get that under um, edit group. So I've just grouped this locator. Now the reason why I'm always grouping the, the locator is that this is what I want. Uh, the group is usually with any sort of control is what you want to sort of orientate uh, an object into position in the world without, whilst keeping the locator, we can rotate this group. Now I've selected the group into any different direction and you'll see that the locator is still zeroed out, which is exactly what we want. So, uh, so let's just call this um, toe locator, and we'll call this group. So we'll call it toe underscore locator underscore group, GRP. <coughs> and this way we know what we're doing. So we're going to grab the toe locator group and we're actually going to match it to the end of the toe here. So let's do that uh, nice and easily. And the way that we do this is we actually just, this is the this is the long way in Maya, but if you don't have any scripts to match this nicely, we can just go select the toe joint itself and then the group of the locator. And then we can constrain it with a parent constraint and keep ma maintain offset off. So when we hit apply, you'll see that that will snap exactly to the point and we'll actually orient it as well exactly numerically to that toe joint right at the top here. Now notice I don't have the rig layer on um, we're just looking at the at the FK foot at the moment so I might even just get rid of that geo layer just to make that a bit clearer for you guys. Okay so as soon as you match something you want to delete it it's parent constraint because we're just matching it in um, terms of its position in the world now what we want to do is it's actually positioned it nice, oriented it nice to the toe, uh, which is good. Otherwise, if I'd oriented to this one, it would have been pointing downwards, which is what we don't want. Um, and I can just snap that across by holding down the V key or the question mark key on my key on my shortcuts back there to the ball joint. So essentially, what we've done here is we've just actually moved this group locator nicely into position so that locator is perfectly now zeroed we can see that if I select the locator itself not the group the locator everything is completely zeroed out and I can have a nice control here for up and down which is going to be our, our pivot point for the actual uh, effector of the toe now if we switch our geo layer back on you can see that that will actually 
move that around. <coughs> okay, so the next step, we just want to parent this toe locator group into the hierarchy of this reverse foot setup. So I'm actually going to parent it to the toe. And the reason is because we want it to move with the toe when the toe comes up. So if we grab this ball toe rotation and we bring it up, we want this to stay there with the ankle. Otherwise, we're going to be rotating from this weird pivot down here and that's not going to be good. So I'm undoing that. Grab this toe locator group over here and we're just going to parent it straight into this. Now I'm going to open up the hierarchy here just by hitting F to see where that's going. It's going to the toe RFL left control. So let's hit parent. Now underneath our toe RFL we can now see that we have our toe locator group and then underneath that we have our actual toe locator. And uh, this is a really nice way of working here because uh, when toe rotates up our locator is now moving with it and if you switch on the geo you can see that now our locator is perfectly positioned ready to move that IK effector. So let's undo this just get it back down again. Now the last step of this is simply we have to parent in the IK handle to the locator so let's do that so we select the IK handle first this one we're going to parent it to the locator shift select that and hit P. Now you can see that IK handle is actually under the toe locator and when we rotate that toe locator we can't see really much that's happening here but if we disappear that reverse foot layer, it's still got that control selected, go into our geo layer and our rig layer, we can see that now we have a pivot point there that's actually rotating the rig itself, like the actual skinned skeleton, uh, which is really lovely. <coughs> so let's, uh, let's finish that there. You can see everything sort of working together. Now this is great because we've still got the ability to uh, position the toe and we can go in and grab that locator and still have additional control over that toe. So that's set up now. Let's add this to um, this foot control. So I'm just going to do this really quickly, same as we did before, add it over here. Let's go modify, add attribute. And this time we've already got toe rotation, so that should really be called toe pivot rotation. Maybe we'll rename that in a second. <coughs> but let's call this... Um, toe rotation and we're going to not have a space there and we're going to just keep it all as a float add that in now I just want to rename this toe rotation to toe pivot rotation uh, so we know the difference between these two controls so let's go modify edit attribute is how we rename attributes and we've got toe rotation and toe rot toe rot we want that to be toe pivot rot and we can just hit uh, tab to enter that in and our toe rotation we can just keep now as toe rot will be fine so we're sort of switching our controls around it's a little bit confusing but it should be much easier for the animator to understand what's happening here is we've got this toe rot control which will actually be the pivot for our toe and we've got our toe pivot rotation so now that we've done that we've got our toe rotation here let's link that up to the rotation of this guy that's um, the rotate Y. So let's go into here and we're going to hook this up with our connection editor. So we go window, general editors, connection editor. Make sure our curve control is selected. Now we're going toe rot, right, not toe rotation pivot. Select our locator, reload the right, come down here in the middle and we'll just hook that up to Y and that's now done. So we now have a control here where we have uh, the toe, the ball rotation as per usual, the toe pivot as per usual, and now this added new control which is our toe rotation and if we get rid of the reverse foot layer you can see and the rig layer itself you can see that that's working all nicely this is what the animator will see when they're animating so there you go